Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm sorry I missed Star Wars Day yesterday, May the 4th. We were really busy, but I'll make up for it today on Revenge of the Fifth. So I brought out two visitors with me today. The first visitor we were gonna see yesterday, her name is Trench. So deep cut if anybody knows that character. And then one of everyone's favorites, Palpatine is tonight's very special visitor. And we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to use some special tools to see Palpatine tonight. So I had hoped and I tried very hard to find one of my favorite books. It's a bedtime story from Darth to Luke and Leia as children. And I just searched and searched and searched high and low and I, I couldn't find it. So uh, I did bring another book with us today, and we're going to read it um, in a little bit because the, what we're going to use for that book is the tool we're going to use for Palpatine. So we're going to do visitors first today, and then our book. And I'll, I'll try not to forget the book this time. So we are talking about arachnids. And so, actually, I have one of each today to show you. What were some of the things that we knew arachnids had that were very cool? They had, do you remember how many legs? How many legs did they have? They had eight legs. And they had, what were these? Pedipalps. Yeah. In fact, that's one of the reasons Palpatine has his name. And what else was special about them? So, eight legs. Two palps, two pedipalps, and how many body parts? Two body parts, two, a cephalothorax, and an abdomen. So, whew, eight legs, two pedipalps, two body parts make arachnids special and different than insects. So let's let's get right to it. Let's bring Trench out. I'm going to reach over. Trench is very special. Most of my other arachnids I've had since they were very small little babies and they shed and shed and get bigger and bigger. And Trench, oh, Trench is already flicking hairs. Trench might not be in the best mood today, but yeah, we'll see how he does. Let's see. Come on, baby. Oh, flicking hairs are you already? Come on. Here, come on, there you are, there you are. This is Trench. Some of the children always call Trench Curly because Trench is a Honduran curly haired tarantula. And if you can see closely, see all those hairs, many, many more hairs than some of the other tarantulas we saw and sticking up higher and a little bit wavier, a little bit curly. If you can see really close, look at all those crazy hairs. So curly hair tarantula. And oh, I don't know if you can see this, if this is going to show up there, maybe. Trench just let out some silk. Trench is really good with letting out silk for me. It's really hard to see on camera. I doubt we can see it. Oh, well. So Trench is one of my biggest tarantulas. So remember I said some of the others are going to get big? They're going to get like Trench size. So here, Trench. See how Trench is like the size of my hand? And look, Trench has, whoa, I know I keep blowing on you. I'm sorry while I'm talking. Trench is having some hair loss on his abdomen or her abdomen. So that's telling me she might be ready to shed soon too. She was also flicking it at me when I went to get her out. So she's not always the easiest to get out. There's a good shot of her sitting really still. So you can see her cephalothorax and her little naked abdomen, her two body parts. And right here's a good view. See her two pedipalps right next to her other leg. Look at how much shorter her pedipalps are, how much smaller her pedipalps are than her other leg. So two pedipalps, two, sorry, lovey, two body parts. And I don't know if she'll let us count her legs. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, ooh, seven. That one's tucked in eight. Yay, Trench. Oh, I know. I know. So this is Trench. 
a curly hair tarantula. Pretty cool, right? And as I said, Trench is a character in Star Wars. Not really a good guy, but a really cool character in Star Wars. Oh, I know. Nonetheless, I figured, you know, we got to celebrate Star Wars. So I brought my two Star Wars named characters out today. I wore my Princess Leia shirt. I've got my Order of the Jedi and Rebel earrings. Oh, Trench is coming off the table. And... This is a very special planet necklace. These are all moons and suns and planets from Star Wars. We've got twin suns, Tatooine, Alderaan. We've got the Death Star, Hoth. We've got Dagobah, Endor, and the Forest Moon. Pretty cool, right? Sorry, had to geek out for our Star Wars celebration and and show you that as I'm watching Trench crawl all around the chair and over the back of the phone. Probably good that some of you can't see that because it's not. Oh, she's running really fast. I know. So this is telling me she's probably ready to go away. Let's bring her out one more time. There she is. Trench the curly hair tarantula. Eight legs, two pedipalps, and two body parts. Arachnids are really cool. All right, so we're going to stick her away so we can see one of everyone's favorites, my boy Palpatine. So, bye, Trench. Bye. So I'm going to stick Trench away. And if Trench goes away, remember I said tarantulas and, and a lot of spiders have like eight eyes, some have six. They're not really good at seeing, so it's hard for me to get them to go back in because they can't really see. So I'm carefully, oh, there she goes. There we go. So with trench away it's time for me to bring out everyone's favorite oh she's hiding so i'm going to do something really special i'm going to move these out of the way and i don't know if you can see her hiding in there this is palpatine now i'm going to do something crazy and i'm going to do it once i have her out but we're going to we're going to test it like this first i'm going to set this down and i'm going to grab not Star Wars, sorry. I'm gonna grab my Avengers blanket. And we're gonna test this out. I am going to, I'm gonna slide you in closer. We're gonna get real close. And we're gonna kinda, we're gonna hide under it. Ah! Oh my goodness, so this might not work after all. We might have to have some helpers. I might have to pause the video. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna try to put this blanket Okay, that's good. No, it's not gonna work! <laughs> okay, and we're gonna try to hide under here and make it dark because I want to show you something. So let me get, let me get, you might fall a couple more times. Okay, let me get my special tool. I got a special flashlight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick her right here. I'm gonna get the blanket and hopefully I don't you over again okay we're gonna get dark together i'm gonna turn the flashlight on can you see the flashlight wow i'm gonna hold this up and there she is she's hiding in there now i'm gonna shine the flashlight oh <gasps> what happened what color did she turn whoa how cool is that so i'm gonna turn this back off i'm gonna pull back the blanket whoa <laughs> And we're going to bring her out. I just had to show you that first with her sitting still. So, I'm gonna push back a little bit. Okay. I'm going to get out my Palpy. Now, Palpatine has a kind of double entendre with her name. Palpatine got part of her name because arachnids have what? Two pedipalps. So, Palpatine has pedipalps. But, for those of you that know Star Wars... Palpatine is a very special kind of arachnid. There's my Palpy. Palpatine, let me get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, is, I'm gonna hold her really closely over this chair here. Palpatine is called an Emperor Scorpion. So Emperor Palpatine. So Palpatine for pedipalps and Palpatine because she's an Emperor Scorpion. So there is my baby, 
Palpy. So see how Palpy's nice and big and black. Scorpions, they also have venom. Remember I said tarantulas have their fangs that have venom? Now scorpions have venom. Oh, I know you're going to run. I'm sorry. So now the other thing I want to tell you is scorpions also have about eight eyes up here. They're almost blind. They almost can't see at all. So that's why she might move really quick. But she's got, let me see if I don't kind of put a hand on her. I know. I know. She's got her little stinger right there. You see it? See your little stinger? And it does have venom, just like my tarantulas have venom in their fangs. But if I were ever to get stung by my scorpion or bit by one of my tarantulas, it might be just like a bee sting. So it wouldn't hurt me. I'm not too worried. And I've never been bitten or stung. But there are scorpions. Usually, the smaller and more brown the scorpion is, the lighter the color, the more dangerous it can be. Usually, when you have scorpions, the bigger and the blacker they are, the safer they are, the cooler they are. Pretty cool, huh? So you see her dark black. Now, we're not going to put the, the blanket over yet, but I want to see if we can see. I'm going to put back that light. Wow! Do you see under this black light how she changes to green? I'll put the blanket over in a second so you'll really be able to see. Whoa, I know, Palpy. I'm sorry. I promise I won't drop you, lovey. I really want to be careful because like some of my other animals that jumped, it's okay. They stay safe. It's not safe if she falls or if she jumps. So I have to be very careful. So if I ever have to stop what I'm doing, it's because I need to keep her safe. So there she is. There she is. Whoa. Let's see. I'm going to move my hands, make sure she's safe and supported. Look at that. Look at that green from the UV light, yeah. Now scientists don't know why. They don't really know why they have, and they have a couple theories, a couple guesses and hypotheses, but they don't really know why. Pretty cool. Now, let's see if we can do it with a blanket. I'm gonna try this. You might fall, because I'm doing this with one hand. I'm running out of time, and I also wanna read the story. So, let's see. Oh my goodness, let's see if I can do this one-handed with the scorpion in one hand. And not joking. Oh no, you fell again! Okay, there you are. Okay, let's go under the blanket. Oh, oh, okay. All right, and I go. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let me pick Palpy back up. Okay, it's a little darker. See here? No, really? See how green? Let me see if I can hold it. Whoa, look at how green. Yay, Palpy. Oh no, you fell again. Kind of a Yoda voice, non-intentional. Non-intentional. There she is. There's my Palpy. All right, Palpy. All right, let's let you come out. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, let me grab Palpy before she goes. Over the edge. One more time, because it's everybody's favorite. I guess you can kind of see it without being in the dark, but, you know, sometimes it's fun to make little tents and things at nighttime. Oh, Palpy, you gave me a little pinch. Palpy gave me a little pinch with her pedipalps, yeah. Remember, she has those two pedipalps, too. That's kind of telling me that Palpy might be done. Palpy might be ready to go away. So last time, let's see. Arachnids had... Eight legs, so hers are down here. It's hard to count. I don't want to hold her up because she won't be able to hang on as much as the tarantula. She's got one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. And those big pinchers are her two pedipalps. I'm going to slide you back a little bit. I think that might help. I think that just might help you a little bit. There she is. Her two pedipalps, and now her body parts are hard to see. This top part right here is her cephalothorax, and all of this, all of this, where you can kind of, I don't know if you can see the lines. Yeah, where the lines start. That's all her abdomen, all the way down to that stinger. Pretty cool. So now I'm going to stick her away. We're running long on time, but I do want to try to get you a story for the night. So I'm going to stick her back, and maybe we'll bring her back out the very end of the story, and she can say... Good night, my lovely, lovely Palpatine. Palpatine, you did so good. I'm so proud of you. Now, scorpions are also really good mommies. They carry all their little babies, and their little babies kind of are glowy, too. They're nice and yellow, and they carry them around on their backs. It's so cool. Look it up. So I'm going to stick Palpy back. There you go, my palps. Oh, she also can't see very well. 
Now, let me move trench over and palpy where I can see her more. Now, I don't know if we're gonna finish this story because of time, but this is a cool book because I couldn't find my Luke and Leia baby book. I found a book about secrets of animal camouflage. And now it's pretty cool because it's called a shine a light book. So we'll test it out with our special black light and see if it works. Maybe a couple pages, let's see. Oh, and this is by Karen Brown and illustrated by Wesley Robbins. Some animals are good at hiding because of their color or pattern. This is called camouflage. Mm, I wonder if I wonder if our tarantula and our scorpion would be really good at camouflage with their colors. I wonder. If you look closely among the flowers and trees on the seabed and in the grasslands, you may be able to spot hidden animals. Shine a flashlight behind the page or hold it up to the light to reveal the animals hiding in their habitats. Discover a world of great surprises. Oh, it sounds like we're going to be scientists. Hey, do you know what a scientist that studies arachnids or insects is called? It's, it's something that I always dream to be. They're an entomologist. Entomologist. Ooh, pretty cool. Speaking of, let's study these Bees, these busy bees are collecting pollen from the yellow and white flowers, but they need to be careful who is watching them. Let's see if it works. Let's see if we shine a light through. Wow, do you see? Let's come closer. Can you see it? Is it gonna work through the storybook? I don't know. Can you see? Let's see, let's try this one. No, I don't know. This is might not work at all. Oh. Oh, maybe a wah wah. Let's see. Ugh. We'll figure out a way we always do. Okay, I'll stir it like this. Let's see. Ooh, let's make it bigger. Oh, yeah. Now we see it. Who's that? See the camouflage? Who do you see? Let's look over here at this one. Wow, who's hiding? Let's see, two white banded crab spiders are waiting to pounce. Spiders are arachnids. The spiders change color to match the yellow and white flowers so the bees don't notice them. Look at that, the camouflage, pretty cool. Now I know we only did one page, but I'm looking at the time and I'm realizing let's finish it tomorrow. It'll be so much to look forward to because I think we need to say good night and bring Calpy back out more time and say good night to her. And maybe if I remember our arachnid song, because I'm getting awful, sleepy, awful loopy. Let's see if Palpy, I know, Palpy, you've had it. I know, you're kind of showing me your, oh, Palpy, Palpy. Here. Oh. There's my palps. Okay, now. Let's see if I remember the arachnid song and we'll sing it together. You ready? Arachnids, arachnids, have eight legs, have eight legs. Arachnids, arachnids, have two pedipalps, two pedipalps. Arachnids, arachnids, have two body parts, two body parts. Arachnids, arachnids are very cool, are very cool. And there is one of our coolest of all. Yay, oh, palpy, palpy, palpy. So, I think it's time, that's a cool shot, to say good night, arachnids. Good night, Palpatine. Good night, Emperor Scorpion. And good night to all of you on this long journey together we had today. Good night.